So this is uh, wavy. It's actually more curly than it is wavy. And there's a little bit of uh, frizzing happening up here, but we're gonna use a, um, a no frizz serum at the end to style it. Now, when you pull everything back, it starts to get a little weighty back here. Now, I'm not opposed to the length. I'm not opposed to any of the length, but it does get a little bulky as it comes back. So I'm just gonna take a tiny bit off. Yeah, it's pretty apparent It's where the weight is. You see when you pull the hair straight out, you can see where the weight is, right in behind the ear. When you're connecting this and the bottom length, it's usually a square piece that pops out in behind the ear. So I'm just grazing. I also want to connect these lengths. See the top length? See how that top length could be a little bit finer? And then it goes into heaviness. So you really want to lean out that heaviness underneath. Yeah, the front's not bad. The front's cut pretty good, but the back was, it was back heavy. You know, you can always cut hair to look better longer. You know, make these slight alterations and you won't have the things that you don't like about it that lead you into cutting it all off. You know, like if people cut their hair at this point, you might rock this for another three months. But if you didn't, you'd probably be over it. So what we did was we went and removed a little bit of weight in certain areas so that the flow is better. So the curl was cascading down and ganging up. So we got rid of that area. And I just added a little bit of no frizz serum just to give it a, uh, a no frizzy, smoother appearance. And with curly hair, it's really nice to address it individually since it's got a personality of its own and it's not so straight and linear that uh, you sort of see where it pops out. You can rough it up a little bit and see where the weight, like right now it's looking too round, it's looking too Q-tippy. So I'm gonna leave the length, but I'm gonna square it off a tiny bit on the sides. You can afford to do hand sculpt curly hair because it's got so much character. It's hard to do with straighter hair. And I think that's why curly hair is sometimes has a reputation in hard to style and hard to cut because it has a mind of its own. So you sort of have to address it that way as well. We're using like a ha less than a half a teaspoon of a serum for curly, geared for your hair type. And I did blow dry it just to remove the excess hair that I had just cut to get that out, but I would recommend just towel drying it. Yeah, that looks great. Just to give it a little bit more of a natural feel. We'll re-wet it so it can curl up a little bit more natural and less blow dried looking. Great. You know, it's still got some length going on. And we didn't cut any, we just trimmed off your ends, you mm -hmm. know? So we did a little perimeter cleaning up and a lot of weight out of there. And it's great. Nice, longer, curly hairstyle. Mm -hmm.